0-3 as Finley delivers. Good fastball for a strike. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Chased a breaking ball for out number one. Here's the pitch. This one's hit back up the middle and caught on the ground by the second baseman, Murillo. Throws on to first, not in time. Let's see if the runner's going again on this pitch. No, he's not. This one is lifted out to deep left center field, and that one is gone. That is a two-run homer for Mitch Wood. His third home run of the weekend, and the Norse have taken a 2-0 lead. So not getting the... Here's the 3-2, swing and a miss. Finley strikes him out today and listening in. Thank you very much, Jesse. The 2-2 is lifted out into shallow right center field, and that'll drop for a base hit just beyond the reach of the second baseman, Simpson. Here's the pitch to Chadwick. This one's hit out into right center field. That's a base hit. Branch rounding second on his way to third. Chadwick will hold at first. And the dogs have runners at the corners here with one out. Runners at the corners, here's the pitch. This one's hit out into right center field. That'll get to the wall. That'll be extra bases for Murillo. Coming in to score is Branch. Rounding third is Chadwick. He scores ahead of the throw, and the dogs tie it at two on the two-run double by number two. Sebastian Murillo. Number two out at second for the dogs as the fastball right down the middle. That one froze Carter just like Goldstein. Here's the one two. This one's hit on the ground, a slow roller to short. Charging in his row, has it, throws on to first to get offered and retire the side. Here's the one two. Swing on, swing and a miss rather. Shanny fell down on strikes for out number two. Here's the 3-2 to Simpson. This one's hit out to left, and that'll drop for a base hit. Good job of hitting there for Simpson as he picks up his first hit of the weekend. Here's the pitch from Finley. This one's hit high out to left. Condon going back, and this one is way on out of here. That's a two-run homer for Northern Kentucky for the second straight inning. And just like that, the Norse have taken a 4-2 lead. Man, it's crazy. Finley's gotten the first two in every inning. Here's the 2-1. This one's hit out to right. That'll drop for a base hit. So that is three straight hits allowed by Finley. So a big payoff pitch due right here. There goes the runner on the 3-2. This one's hit on the ground to third, backhanded by Offord. Log throw across in time, and a great scoop by Trey Phelps. Thanks to Troy Brody listening in again from sunny Centerville as this one's hit back up the middle and through for a base hit. So Shanny Felt gets his sixth hit of the weekend. Empire will not try to make the designation of whether they could actually get the runner or not. This one's lifted out to deep right at the wall. Chadwick has it. He makes the catch. Shanny Felt will tag and go to third. Four to two. Here's the pitch. This one's hit back up the middle and through for a base hit. Coming in to score is Shanny Felt, and the Norse now lead at five to two. As this one is hit over on the right side, Marillo going to his left, has it, throws on the first in time. What a stretch by Phelps. Seabass with a long sprint to get to that one. Luke back in the studio thinks he's out. I'm telling you, I quit watching these things. He can get into the, ooh. And another big moment in this game, swing and a miss there. Robert takes care of Davenport on three pitches. Now the 2-1 to Seabass. This one's hit down the right field line. That is gonna drop for a base hit. Let's see if Murillo can get two out of it. Here's the throw, cut off, he's safe. Seabass with his second double of the afternoon. Guys, and he had the game-winning homer. And the 0-1 is hit out to deep right field. Going back is Devin Porter. That one is out of here. 
a two-run homer for Dylan Carter. And that cuts the Northern Kentucky lead to five to four. DC is now homered in two of his last three at bats. That's now two doubles and a homer for the eight and nine hitters. And Offer hits this one deep out to right center. It's off the top of the wall. Throw coming to second. He is safe. That one needed one more inch to get out of here. Here's the pitch. Condon lashes this one fair down the left field line. Coming in to score is offered. Condon on his way to second. Ball getting away from the left fielder. Condon to third, safe. Georgia has tied it on the triple by Condon. And the dogs have gone double, homer, double, triple here in the fifth. Here's the pitch to Goldstein. Back up the middle, fielded by the pitcher girl. He's got Condon caught up between third and home. And he'll run Condon back to third and flip it to Wood, the third baseman, to get Charlie. Now the 0-1, breaking ball. This one's hit out to deep left center field. Shanty felt going back. This one is out of here. A two-run homer for Logan Jordan. And Georgia leads for the first time today. It's now 7-5. What a performance here by the dogs in the fifth. Double, homer, double, double, and now another homer. And if Johnson's name sounds familiar, there's a reason. As Trey Phelps hits the first pitch out to left center field, and this one is out of here. Trey Phelps. The freshman first baseman from Kennesaw gets his first career homer and Georgia leads it eight to five. So Johnson is allowed home runs on the last two pitches he's thrown. Here's the pitch. This one's hit out to deep left center field. Going back is Kilpatrick and it's out of here. Another home run for the Bulldogs. Georgia has hit four home runs here in the inning. And the dogs have now gone back to back to back. Gave up six hits and four runs in four innings last week. Now the 2-2. Here's the pitch. Did he go? Yes, he did. Now the pitch. Swung on and missed. Wednesday for a six o'clock first pitch. This one's hit on the ground, deep short. Branch has it, throws across, not in time. So Miller has his first hit of the weekend. One out here in the sixth. The pitch to Kilpatrick is hit out into right for a base hit. Miller will hold at second. Thank you very much, Benji. This one is lifted out to center. Coming on is Carter, dives for it and traps it. Shanny Felt has a base hit, or does he? No, he doesn't. It'll end up being a fielder's choice as the dogs throw in and then on to third to get the runner. And here is the one, two. This one's hit off the glove of Phelps. That ball was crushed by Simpson. Great play by Phelps, though, just to kind of dive and keep it in the infield. Coming up from our Bears. Miss low as he took something off of that one. Ball four and a run scores to take the lead. Here's the one two again. This one's hit out into left. Coming on is Condon. It'll drop in front of him. Runners advance once, and that means a run will score. Or check that. Two runs will score. Now the pitch. Breaking ball. Swung on and missed. Rowe is down on strikes. 10 RBIs on the year. Here's the 2-1. This one's hit on the left side and through for a base hit. Offered has his second hit of the game. Three homers on the year, seven runs driven in. And then this one's hit back up the middle and through. That's a base hit for Condon. Offered on his way to third, safe.
Great base running there by Slate to get to third. And the dogs have runners at the corners. Ten runs in the first inning Friday. The pitch to Goldstein misses away, ball four. A boots, et cetera, walk to Goldstein. And the bases, Jordan standing in. Bases loaded, hits this one to short. He'll go to second for one. The relay is in time. Good stretch there by McFadden Ackman. The run does score. Maybe they got that baseball in the parking lot. That pitch comes inside and hits it. So Phelps gets hit by a pitch on the 1-0. All right, a payoff pitch coming up here to Colby Branch. Here it is. This one's a little number chopper past the pitcher on the first base side, and Branch beats it out. The second baseman, Simpson, charging in. First and second with two outs. And this one is lifted out into shallow left. Shanny felt coming on, and he will fight the sun and make the catch. Be trying to shake him up. Yeah. Here's the one, two. This one's a chopper over on the right side. Marillo has it. Throws on to Phelps at first. Here, down in Bushnell, Florida. Here's the three, one. That one misses low. Ball four, a two out walk. Here's Salinas. It's the pitch to. Pollock is hit out to left, and actually that is a pinch hitter. Zacharias Salinas, as you mentioned just a moment ago, standing in and hits this one out to left center for a two-run homer. Holy smoke, Salinas just coming in off the deck. First pitch swinging. He was 0 for 1 on the season, and just like that, it's 11 to 10. Wow. wow. Yeah, I'm telling you, the dogs would like to turn it over to Marsh. Fastball right down the middle, cold strike three to retire the side. Ten minute mark, here's the 2-2. Two -two. This one's hit deep out to right center field. Going back is Carter at the wall, and it is off the top of the wall. Davenport rounding second on his way to third. It's a leadoff triple. I don't know how that one didn't get out of here. And the tying run is at third here for Northern Kentucky. Now the 1-1 from Panzer. This one is lifted out into center. That'll drop for a base hit. It's a single for Wood. That ties the game at 11. Well, Georgia's had a 9-5 lead and an 11-8 lead. I think a big key for Northern Kentucky. Here's the pitch. Cold strike three. Beautiful breaking ball. Zeldin retires Shanty Felt. Now the 1-1. One, one. This one's lifted out to center. The park will hold this one. Kilpatrick squeezes it a few steps in front of the track for out number one. Here's the pitch to Condon. This one's lashed out into left field. A base hit for Condon. And that is his fourth hit of the afternoon. Condon the runner at first. Here's the 3-1. That one misses low. Ball four. Tate's walks for the second time. Now the 1-0. That one goes all the way to the backstop. Bounces right to the catcher, and Condon is still safe ahead of the throw. That was almost a horrible break for the dogs. The intentional walk to Gonzo. Bases are loaded here. To Trey Phelps. That one misses low. Ball one. Here's the 1-0. This one's chopped foul. Here's the 1-1. The stretch. Here's the pitch. This one's hit high out to left. Shanny felt going back. He's got to let this one drop if it's foul, and he wisely does. That is a heads-up play there by Shanny felt Two and two to Phelps. Here it is. That one hit him. He gets hit for the third straight at bat. Condon comes in to score, and Georgia wins it 12 to 11.